Why? Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> oh. Hey, no. All right. Am I having heart palpies right now? I swear to the good Lord. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My brain just stopped working. Who's ready to party? I'm gonna be honest with you guys right now. I know that I might look like together. Um, I have BO. Well, I fully failed on giving you guys a good intro today, but that's where I'm at. So as you guys can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you all of my current favorite beauty products, and I have a lot. A lot. No, really, like I have a lot of products to talk about. I have not done a favorites video in so long. Do you guys remember how committed I used to be to myself? <laughs> no, do you remember how committed I used to be to my favorites videos? Like. I uploaded a favorites video every single month, rain or shine, like between the first and the fifth of every single month, I uploaded a favorites video. And then I just feel like everyone stopped doing it. It like stopped being the thing, but like, God, I wish it was still the thing. Cause it's like, they are my favorite videos on YouTube. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about some of these products, you guys. Like, I don't know what it is. Recently, I kind of feel like I've been like re-falling in love with makeup again and genuinely getting excited about products in the cosmetic industry, which I just go through phases and there's times where like, I just look at new products and PR boxes and everything like on the shelves and I'm just like, eh, like I'm just not in it. And then there's times like right now where I'm just like, oh my gosh, like we are amazing. Our industry is incredible. I'm just like so in it, you know? So that's where I'm at right now. There's so many good products happening and I'm just like so excited to be, I'm so excited to be alive at this time. Let's just start here because it's the first thing that I've been putting on my face. This is the Smashbox Primer Oil right here. Now, I have had this for quite a long time. I've actually used it in the past and I hated it. I didn't mention it on YouTube or anything like that, but I just used it and I was just like, not my vibe, right? And I put it to the side. I didn't throw it away, but I put it to the side, didn't touch it for months. And then my friend Anthony, who works at Smashbox or worked for Smashbox, he was telling me how much he loves it and his skin and his foundation always looks so beautiful and just radiant. And he's like, it's the primer oil, I'm telling you. So I was like, okay, I gotta give this another try. So I found out what it was that I was doing wrong is that, this is so stupid, but I was already priming my skin and then using this, like mixing it in with the foundation. And it was just slipping right off my face. Like um, it wouldn't adhere to my skin and it just looked not good, like oily and greasy and just unnatural. So the trick to this is to not use a primer whatsoever. This is your primer. I know it sounds silly, but to me, like when I think of like, oil, I think like, oh, I prime and then I put it in my foundation. I don't know, whatever. So honestly, it is so incredible, but you have to go in with just like a blank face, no primer, slap this bad boy on, then put your foundation on. Oh my God, it just makes your skin. I mean, like, I don't know if you can see my skin. I mean, in the monitor, I look a little flat right now, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know if it'll look like this on YouTube though, but in person, even my boyfriend couldn't stop complimenting my skin. He's like, what'd you do different? Your skin just looks so like fresh and just so like dewy and supple. And I'm like, yes, thank you. And I have really, really sensitive skin. So the majority of oils I have used really irritate my skin. They give me hives, rash, texture, breakouts, whatever it may be. Oh my gosh, I had the worst reaction ever to the old MAC essential oils. I can't even talk about it. It was so bad that my boss sent me home. She's like, you can't work like that. But yeah, this one I have not had any sensitivity to. I. God, my BO is getting worse as I'm sitting here. <sighs> this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my goodness. This is my second one. I went through the first one very quickly and moved on to my second. So what I love about this translucent powder is the way it sets my entire face. So I am so picky and so high maintenance when it comes to my makeup and everything else in life. I use a different under eye powder that I do for my entire face and then a different one for baking. Like I have several different powders in my routine because I don't like the way my face looks when I just set my entire face with one powder and be done. I just don't think that it looks as flattering and as dimensional and as natural, but yet photoshopped at the same time. What I love about this is it's so sheer and it's got such a beautiful like glow to it. There's not shimmer in it, there's not glitter in it, but it's just so, just like almost like the dewiest looking translucent powder ever. If you are dry, this would be incredible for your skin. I am dry, I am obsessed with this. It does not do a very good job at baking though. So if you're actually wanting to bake, this is not gonna really do it because it is so sheer and it does kind of have like that glowy effect. It's not gonna be so great for that, but for setting the full face, I am like 
done. Like I never even need to look for another translucent powder again. Like the search is over. So speaking of powders, I wanna talk about the new, newer, newish Fenty Beauty, what is it technically called? The Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. So this comes in many different shades and I first bought it in the shade Butter just to set my whole face. Wasn't the biggest fan. I used it twice, wasn't the biggest fan and the smell just like made me crazy. I'm like, oh my God, like it just smelled like such intense like SPF that I was like, hello, flashback, like how are you? But this one right here is in the shade Lavender and I've been using this to set my under eyes it is just like so flawless and brightening. Hold on, let me look back here. Bitch, I look amazing. And because this is like a purpley lavender undertone, it will help color correct ever so slightly as well. But the main thing that makes it so amazing is how bright it makes your under eye. Like, ah! Okay. <laughs> you have to kind of be careful because it will honestly make it so bright so quickly. My friend, he bakes with it underneath of his eyes as he's doing his makeup. I haven't been ballsy enough to try that yet because I feel like, oh my God, if I bake with this, it's gonna be like white, like bing. But if you're really fair, this would work for you. So it's kind of like the banana powder that we used to all be obsessed with, but now we're moving into the purple range with this undertone. And I've never used a purple undertone powder in my entire life. And oh my gosh, thank you to Queen Riri as always. God, she just like, She's the goat. Oh, but one more thing that I wanna say about this is it's not like a typical translucent powder that gets like really dry underneath your eyes. It really doesn't. Like it just looks so beautiful and natural and just like whoosh, airy. Okay, so now let's talk about a bronzer that I have been loving. I mean, I've been loving everything in this entire video, <laughs> but it is really, really hard for me to find bronzers. I feel like there's all certain things that we have that are just like, mm -mm. like I just, I don't like to try new ones. because It's just like, oh, and for me, that's definitely concealer and bronzers and I, I think foundation is everybody. Foundations are like jeans, you know? It's like once you find a good foundation, you're like, you don't even wanna change it. You stick to it for like five years until like they discontinue it and you're forced to go somewhere else. But bronzers are really, really difficult for me to find and I am obsessed. I know that people are gonna be like, it's Morphe, that's only why you're talking about it. Lies, lies. I feel very um, just like mm, 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 today because I got my nails done this morning and so I'm very like, I'm just ready to Grab your ass, grab your wig. Wow, that got aggressive quick. Okay, Morphe came out with a bronze collection of some sort. It came out with some like liquid highlights and lip glosses, bronzers, and then a palette as well. I actually didn't even know that they were dropping this. So when I got it and I saw it like on social media in person, I was like, oh, okay, great. The bronzer, holy guacamole. Okay, so this right here is in the shade Icon and this is the shade that matches me. If you are like, medium to fairish, this would be your shade. First of all, you get such a great amount of product. And second of all, this is a total dupe for the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. Like it's so similar. I, I couldn't even tell the difference. If I had Marc Jacobs on one brush and this on the other, I can guarantee you like all my life, I couldn't tell the difference. This is so buttery and smooth and blendable. It's what I'm wearing right now as my bronzer all over my face as um, my nose contour as well. I just like dusted it. You guys know, you get the situation. Anyways, bomb bronzer. I don't know the exact price, but I'm sure it's of course extremely affordable. So I wanted to tell you guys because I mean, honestly, like this is, this is it. You don't need to go buy a Marc Jacobs bronzer anymore because they just handled it for you. Sorry, Marc Jacobs. I really do like your stuff, but. I have mentioned these lashes before, but I'm going to like show you them in depth because I can't get enough of them. Intoxicating Lashes by Flutter have been like my favorite lashes for a good solid year at this point. Like I wear them every single time I put lashes on. But recently the Lily Lashes in the style at so, hold on, reboot, reboot me. These are in the style So Extra Miami. So they have the Miami lashes and they have the So Extra Miami. And you, of course, my bitch ass loves the So Extra Miami. And they look like this right here. I am also wearing them on my eyes. Can you see them? Can I get a close up? Hello. What I love about these the most is that unlike intoxicating, they have a lot of separation. So if you spent a lot of time on your eye makeup and you wanna show it off to the world, sometimes a really strong, intense, bold lash just covers it up. And this is not gonna do that. As you can see on my eyes, you can, I mean, my eye makeup, honey, I just slapped some shit on and called it a day. You can still see my eyeshadow because even though they're like bold and they're beautiful, they are wispy and they've got that separation. So you can still see through them and see your actual look. So if you're wearing like a glittery eye and you people to see the glitter, let them know that you're that hoe, then you would slap on a little So Extra Miami or a regular Miami, but I just prefer to be a little extra. I'm so sorry. 
Next, I gotta give a shout out to the Kylie blushes. I love them. They're so bomb. They're a lot better than the Kris Jenner palette. You guys remember that, right? Like that catastrophe. And then I was pulled from the PR list for a minute and then I was put back on and I was like, oh, thanks, thanks for coming. <laughs> But really though, like these are amazing blushes. I really love them. I'm wearing them today. It's what I've been wearing ever since I got them in the mail. It's all I've really been wearing, honestly. And my favorite color so far is we're going shopping. And it looks like this right here. But this one right here is a really beautiful corally peach. They're totally matte. It's got a little pink in it, but it's not like pink. You know what I mean? When it's like pink. But weirdly enough, I've actually been into really pink. Pinky, 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 pinky. pinky. Pinky cheeks recently. In general, I've been getting into pink and I feel kind of weird about it because I have not liked pink since I was 13 years old to the point that I talk crap about pink. Like there's not pink in my closet. I don't own a pink handbag. I own one pink pair of heels, I'll be honest. One pink, that's it, but there's a reason for it. I'll show you them. Hold on. Oh. This is my one pink pair of heels. They're baby pink and they say boss lady on them. I thought they were so cute, I couldn't stop. And I have never worn them. I've had them for like three years. I'm still waiting for my true boss lady moment where I'm like, yeah, bitch, I can do it. So that's the only pink anything that I own. Point of the story is that recently I've been really, really into pink, like pink cheeks, kind of like pinkier lips. Even I bought a pink outfit. Ah, oh, I don't know who I am. But I think it's because my really good friend is pregnant and she's having a girl. And so I'm just like, oh my God, pink vibes. I'm planning her shower right now. We're so excited. So it's like, because of that, I'm just like feeling the pink mode. I even got pink on my toes. I hate my toes. So I'm only gonna show you one. Ah, it's pink. Okay, we're done. I'm locking it up. It's a great color though. Anyways, this color right here is called Pink Power. And it's just like the most beautiful baby pink Ever. I love it so much. It just makes your cheeks look so girly and flushed and just like alive and dainty. Just like, <laughs> look at you. Really though, her formula is really good. I haven't even tried her bronzers yet. I don't know why, I need to. Her blushes slay. Her highlights were good, but I wasn't just like, I wasn't dying. All right, so let's talk about highlight. Bitch. You have no idea. I'm gonna start off with these. So this is by a new brand. I'm a little confused about how it works. It's the brand Glossier. Is that how you pronounce it? Glossier, 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 I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry, I don't wanna be offensive, but they have like a new brand called Play, I think. So it's like Glossier, Play, I don't know. But they sent me their PR package and I was very excited and very thankful, especially when I opened up this bad boy. I was like, honey. So it's a liquid highlight. You all know how liquid highlights work. But this is the most intensely, just beautiful liquid highlight ever. And it comes in two different shades. It might've come in three, I'm not sure. But these are the shades that like work for me, depending if I'm really light or if I'm much darker. Okay, so this one right here is the more like tannish, bronzier one that I can wear when I have like a good spray tan. And this one right here, oh my gosh, is one I, I can wear this anytime. Look at the beam of these. It's like liquid metal. They're so beautiful. I'm not a diehard about the applicator, which is like my only complaint if I had one, but it's not a deal breaker for me because the product itself is so, oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, speaking of highlights, I want you to come close, okay? Because this is like top secret. And I don't want anyone to hear because, oh my God, this highlight is so insane. My friend came over to my house the other day. His skin was beaming. I was like, what's wrong with you? What happened and why had you not told me? You're not a real friend, like what's going on? And he was like, oh my gosh, you have to try this highlights. Like it's incredible. So it is the Benefit Cheerleaders Mini Bronze Squad Palette. It's highlight, contour, and bronzer. Honey, this middle shade right here, cookie. First of all, do you see my cheek? Do you see this? Honestly, mm, mm. Mm, give me some, mm, mm, mm. Is the light hitting it? This cheekbone is more prominent on my face. Even though I think this is my bad side, this cheekbone hits harder. So I always give you, I, I, I pop you the right. Not see that? This one isn't as, as intense. This one is like, pow! I barely touch this to my skin. So I'll do a little bit more right now. I'm like scared to see how intense it gets. Like, look at this. Are you joking? That's offensive. I love my nose highlights so much. You have no idea. The thing that I love about this highlight so much is it's like, not a cream highlight and it's not a powder highlight. It feels so different. There are highlights similar to this one, but they just don't apply the same. It's so random that like of all brands, Benefit comes out with like the most beautiful highlight of all time. And it's like in this little trio, like can Benefit please hear me out? And hey, Benefit, I, yeah, uh, if you can make this into a single pan highlight, that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you so much. 
side note, it applies like a wet dream. Oh my God, that sounded so gross. I didn't mean like that though. It applies like it's like wet, but yet it's not. And it's not like the wet set by Kylie Jenner either. It's easier to apply than that. It's just bomb. It, I don't think that anyone would dislike this highlight. It's perfect. I have a new brow product. And no, it's not the Urban Decay Micro Blade. I think that's what it's called or something. This is something that I'd never heard of until Nicole, who you guys know as Lipstick Nick on social media, she has this in her makeup kit. And I ran out of my brow pencil one day when I was in LA and she just hooked me up with this and let me use it. And I was so obsessed. I ordered it online that night. And it is by The Cream Shop and it's called Macro Brow. Looks like this. One side is the spoolie, one side is the crayon. Now I will say the Anastasia Brow Definer is still my favorite brow pencil of all time, but this is so bomb, you guys, and it's so creamy. When you first, first get it and it's a brand new one, which I feel this way with like almost all brow pencils, but it takes like a full session to really warm it up. It's a good size too. It's like the same shape as Anastasia, but it's a little bit smaller so you can really like detail your brows out. I'm in it. I have a lot of lip products to talk about. Number one is this Kylie Cosmetic Gloss, and this is in the shade Clear with a K, and it comes off with just like a tiny tint of pink, but like honestly, something that like, okay, you, you really don't even notice it on the hand. It's like nothing, it's so light. This is like my favorite lip gloss ever right now because if I put on a lipstick or a liquid lipstick or whatever it may be, and I love the shade, I wanna keep the shade, but I just wanna gloss it up, I love this because it really doesn't add much color. It just makes your lips look soaking wet. It's not sticky at all. It honestly feels like a lip moisturizer. Like if I don't have my Kapari like lip moisturizer with me, I could put this on and with no makeup and just feel like I'm wearing like a lip butter. It is so soft and smooth and just like yummy and buttery and delicious. Okay, I'm done. I really feel like I'm working for Kylie right now. I need to calm down. So that gloss came out in like a limited edition situation, I'm pretty sure, or like a collection or something, whatever. And then she extended the line and I'm pretty sure they're called high glosses and these have shimmer in them and they are so amazing. So I know that like shimmer glosses and glitter glosses came back into style, like back on trend in the past couple of years, but I just haven't been on board with them really because they're all so chunky. Like all these glosses that come out, like you can feel the glitter on your lips and I'm like, Ugh, like I can't stand that feeling. Like I don't want to feel the glitter on my lips. I want to be able to see it, but not actually know that it's there, you know? And that's exactly what these are. These are super, super high shine, very glittery, sparkly. They look amazing. They bring so much tension to your lips, but you can't feel the glitter in them. So this guy right here is the clear one. Let me just like literally wipe that off. These two right here are the glosses and it honestly looks like the same as the highlight on my hand because they're just so wet and shimmery. Oh, they're so good. The lighter one is in the shade Lost Angel and the darker one is in the shade I'm the Catch. Speaking of glosses, Becca Cosmetics and Chrissy Teigen did their, I believe, second round of collaboration and the glosses they came out with are so good. Like they are so buttery on the lips. They're super shiny. They kind of remind me of like maybe Marc Jacobs, kind of similar to like a Marc Jacobs vibe of their glosses. It even smells like Marc Jacobs, honestly. They're so pretty. So I actually lost the other color that I love. This is in the shade Beach Bum, and this is like the darker, more caramel gloss, and then there's a lighter one that I love. But it's just such a good formula. Like, it's so good, and the colors are just on point. Like, she did a great job picking these colors out because I go from being like super tan because of my spray tans to like the whitest person you've seen. Her light gloss looks great on me at all times and her dark gloss looks great on me at all times. So she did a good job. All right, two different liquid lipsticks by MAC Cosmetics. I do not feel like these lipsticks get enough love. They are so good. They've got a great range of shades and neutrals and taupes. The formula is so bomb, truly, like so bomb. So they are called the Retro Matte Lip Color and this first shade right here is called Lady Be Good. Like, it's just like a great, you know those tones? I feel like we all love those tones. It's like those muted kind of dusty, pinky, nudey. And then this one right here is called Burnt Spice. This is the one that I think I wear more often. Yeah, I do. This one right here, Burnt Spice, which is a little bit deeper. Again, they're just the best formula. Like they're so good, not the best. I, I have a lot of liquid lipsticks that I love, but they are so good and I feel like they need more love. Um, speaking of incredible liquid lipsticks, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, fire, like fire. It's like, he has a brand where I can always count on his lips, always. It's like, they're consistent, they're amazing. And this is in the shade Celebrity Skin. 
I love the shade Mannequin. That's like my number one favorite shade ever. And then I'm Nude. I'm obsessed. But this one right here, I've really been into recently. I'm wearing this on my lips as a base and then I have gloss over top. I actually have two glosses. On top of my lip right now, I'm wearing the Chrissy Teigen and Becca Cosmetics Beach Bum. And then in the center, I am wearing the Dose of Colors Can You Not, which is again, a great gloss. More than anything, the Dose of Colors gloss, I feel like the gloss itself, uh, like if it was my brand, I would make a couple of changes, but the color of Can You Not, is so bomb. Like, I don't know if you can see the color very well as I'm applying it. It's so nude and just perfect. Okay, so last lip product that I have been loving is a lipstick by Maybelline in the shade Nude Lust. Now listen, Maybelline Baddest Beige is, <sighs> I can't even talk about it. It is such a good lipstick. Like I wear it all the time. The formula is so just like, slimy and glossy, but just bomb and the way it settles on your lips. It's just so good, it's so good. The shade right here is Nude Lust. Let me give you a little swatch over here on the side. It's super pale, it's got a pink undertone. Of course, what's new? You can see it right here on my hand. It's just so pretty. It's definitely a little bit more on the sheer side. It's not like a really full coverage lipstick, but I like it because the way I really like to wear my lipsticks, like my bullet lipsticks, is to apply them over top of a liquid lipstick. So. Liquid lipsticks, no matter who they're by, they can tend to get dry on me. I also have dry lips in general. I'm constantly putting moisturizer on. I'm addicted. I'm fully addicted to lip moisturizer. My name is Jaclyn Hill and I have a problem. But no matter what liquid lipstick I put on, I like to put something on over top of it. So I put a gloss on over top of it or I put a lipstick on over top of it and that's like my favorite trick honestly ever is to do a liquid lip and then a bullet lipstick over top because you can get the shade that you want by mixing and matching, but it's gonna last forever, forever without cracking, without moving. Like it lasts all day because you're taking something super dry and something that's got a lot of moisture in it and you're breathing them together and it's just, it is so good. So that's the way that I use Nude Lust by Maybelline is I just put it right over top of my liquid lips and call it a day. All right, so. Had to give this one a special intro because this is the last beauty product that I have. But oh my God, it is probably like my top two or three in this video. This is the Farsali, yes, Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. It says it's 24 karat gold infused. Hydrate, prime, plus set. Bitch. All I can say is this is hot fire and the way it smells, Oh my God, it smells so good. So this is really similar to like a Lila B, a Glow Face Mist, a Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Honestly, Tatcha was my baby. Like, oh my gosh, I don't know if you guys remember, I was so obsessed with Tatcha's face mist. I couldn't, I couldn't stop. There were articles written about it because I was so obsessed with that face mist. You would think that I worked for them. Like I loved it so much. I still do, but the issue for me is their pump. Like the very top, this right here of the Tatcha, it's just like, when I squirt it on my face, it splatters on my face and I have to go back with a beauty sponge and like, like dab it out where the Lila B and now this one have such a perfect, beautiful, even like mist that doesn't leave any spots and like splotches of like oil or anything on your face. It's just so beautiful. This just feels luxurious. I love the size of it. Like I love the way it smells and it makes my skin just look so glowy and dewy and natural and fresh. So honestly, this, along with the Smashbox Primer Oil, I'ma do the do. Also, I gotta mention this because I use it in every single video and I get questions about it all the time. I got this on Amazon for like $15 or less. It's just a little hand fan and it's got three different adjustments. One, two, three. And then I just fan my face off and I don't know why I never got like a little fan like this in the first place. Like I'm such a priss. Now if I don't have it, I'm like, oh, God, like can I get some help over here? Like I need to dry my face. Like it's ridiculous. This is a body lotion that I am obsessed with. So I actually used this in the past and I didn't like it. And for some reason I tried it again and I love it now. So I'm, I barely even have anything left. I'm literally scraping the bottom of the barrel. I ordered more and I'm waiting for it to come in. First of all, the scent is absolutely incredible. This is by the brand Kiehl's and it's called Creme de Corps. It says that it's soy milk and honey whipped body butter with shea and hoba butters. It is amazing, amazing for like truly dry skin. So I think once I hit the summer and I'm back in like the peak of humidity here in Florida, I probably won't be 
using this as much. And I also definitely feel like this makes my spray tan last longer. I was addicted to like the fresh cream lotion that I was using for so long, but my spray tans were not lasting that long and they were also not fading very natural. And now that I'm using this, they are, my spray tans look way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the credit to this one. Let's talk about two candles because it was very hard for me to transition from winter candles to all of a sudden just nothing but spring candles everywhere. Like. I'm not joking, like I actually kind of like got upset. Like this is first world problems at its absolute peak, but I was like fussy. I was like, are you freaking kidding me? Like they're not selling winter candles anymore. Like I don't have fresh balsam in this bitch. I, I don't have evergreen. I, I, I was just like at a loss for words because those are my favorite candles ever. And I wish that I could have winter scents in my house all year long. And if I would have known that Bath and Body Works was gonna do me so dirty, then I would have bought in like 80 of their candles and stocked up. I found two candles that I love, and <laughs> they're the two candles that I'm burning constantly in my house, except this bad boy behind me. But that's like a special occasion candle. That's like a, mm -hmm, I'm filming a YouTube video. So like, let me go spend a ridiculous amount of money on a candle for no reason, because you know, like, ah, I'm a YouTuber. Really though, cinnamon spiced vanilla. These are both by Bath and Body Works, by the way. Oh my gosh, this, it's a donut. It's a cinnamon donut. It, it smells like you just walked into like a mom and pop bakery and they're just cooking up cinnamon sugar donuts, but it's not overly sweet because I don't like anything that's overly citrusy, overly sweet, or overly smells like clean laundry. Like it just needs to be so gentle on my, like my sinuses that like when I walk in, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. Like I just wanna like sit down and cozy up. Like that's so great. But I don't like a candle that smells like thick maple syrup and waffles, you know? Like it just needs to be gentle. And this one is, Perfection. The second one is vanilla bean. So good. And I'm not even a vanilla bean fan. Like a vanilla bean, like ice cream. I don't know what it is about it. It really grosses me out. And usually vanilla bean scent, not my jam, but this, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's a little bit sweeter than the cinnamon spice vanilla, but it is so good. It's still soft. It's yummy. It's got a bakery vibe, but in the, in the best way. All right, you guys, I have one last thing, and then that's a wrap. I love to take a bath. It's my favorite. Ever since I moved into this house especially, I mean, I've always loved baths. Always, always, always. I've always lit candles. I've always made the best of it. Even when I lived in like a tiny little like nasty apartment and there was like mold along the bath, I would still sit in there like, hmm. Like, I just love baths. But I have a really, really amazing bath that I'm just like so thankful for now, and it's got like, Whirlpool, like jets, and I'm just like so happy. I've been really into like bath salts and oils and all that jazz. And my friend Linda, she introduced me to this brand, K N E I P P, Knep, Kneep, I'm not sure, but their bath salts are so good. And when I say good, I'm not just talking about the scent and the fact they change your water, like amazing colors, but I'm talking about the actual effects. Like I've never had a bath salt truly affect me the way these do. I get terrible, terrible, terrible cramps, and also like my stomach will act up, and I also get like terrible pains in my stomach. And I get really bad cramps when I'm on my period. You guys, I'll put like, I'll mix these together. And when I tell you like 10 minutes into the bath, like I truly, like my pain goes away. Like my muscles truly loosen up. There's one called Dream Away, I think it's called. I'll show you how I store them, hold on. So I store them in these little marble containers right here. And then I just keep them inside like that all along my bathtub. That way I don't like go back and forth. And if I'm in my bath, I'm like, ooh, I want a little bit more. I just dump it in. It's the little things in life that make me happy, you know? But the Dream Away one, it truly, like you get out and you're like, good night. But yeah, I'm super into bath salts and now I sound like QVC. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. But that is it you guys for my favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed. I honestly had so much fun filming this video because it's so just like organic and easy for me, especially sitting here in my bathroom. I'm really glad that I changed up the vibe. I just feel like I'm able to actually like be real and just like raw and just like casual with you. I love you guys so much as always, in case you have forgotten, please leave your favorites in the comment section down below. They can be anything in the beauty realm. They can be snacks. I don't care what it is. You could have just gotten a new favorite lawn mower. Go ahead and just put it down below. I love when you guys comment your favorites. Tweet me your favorites, just please. I just, I love it. Thank you for your recommendations always, seriously, because I buy so much of the stuff that you guys tweet to me and tell me on Instagram, like you have no idea. I make lists and I run out and I buy it. So yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.